Seedrin when you saw her last. She's still incorporeal, ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. I can forge some new stuff. Seems like you might need the help. What is this? Ravens, the ones we've been destroying. Odin's little spies. Like the father of all, we swung from the tree. Wisdom gained father, servitude gained we. Swung from the tree. What do you suppose that means? And here I thought you were good with riddles. A gift of luck. must have created these creatures. But how? I haven't the foggiest. They came after my time with them. But perhaps we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens we find. In life we hanged, in death we kneeled, until you freed us with your steel. So destroying the ravens free their spirits somehow. Good to know. Free? Well, free of Odin's control anyway. We Tears, treasures? Hand them over. I'll hold on to them. Now 
Now tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear. What's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. All that said, I'm happy to discuss anything else on your mind. <sighs> well, any questions before you travel on? They're back. Simmer down. I see them. I have news. Oh. Did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do but go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. 
you little one. Got it! I think. I thought you didn't believe in fate. We are all worried about your son. We Enough! Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horde that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit... The lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> uh. Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. No idea what he's on about, brother. I know you mean well. See you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your fret. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just Sentry trying to hog off the tree. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a rear than making a fuckery of the birds. Probably on account of all that incursion as you got up. Don't worry, you little dangling kid. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for them. On account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully.
There. We keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. oil spill. place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh, dear. Whoa! 
his fault Atreus ran off. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The giant can see a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. We're each entitled to our opinion. seem to be connected. See if you can break that far picture.
The sigil arrows should work with ice as well. Bloody hearty are sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to get back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. Seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? That worked. Shall we? at Ragnarok. That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods, you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might be. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. <laughs> Sigil arrows won't work on this.
Careful! Those Grim are possessed by nightmares. They'll be even more dangerous until we stun them. mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Yotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. 
Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secret of every step of the attack, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about the doubt, they wouldn't explode when you talk to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked out of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your face. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite no. enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right, let's get that wheel turning. Just out of way. That's a start. Ah, teamwork. Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. you or cast doubt on your marriage it just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet and I know something about that When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it.
Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Harryar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Folky! Why do I feel like this has your name? Hmm? It is an ingredient from the recipe. How did they reach this realm? Oh, they were well versed in realm travel. You see, Yari was raised a Midgardian warrior. Meant to fight in the family's war. Find a wife. Die for glory. But he rejected it. He left. He followed his own path. I wouldn't be surprised if we found their mark in other realms as well. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. But could we just come back to this one? Trust me. Well, so much for following me. Fine. Let's see what you find. You must tell me. Here comes the boom. <laughs> Gonna bring you down for parts and sell your hide to Kratos! Left side! You know that was plagiarized when we found it. Sure it was. Uh, you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Loose it enough. Time to steal my kitchen, though. Listen! You just made the last mistake in your life! Let go! Better take out that net, or it'll be eyeball city out here! These butts? No wonder they shut the door. Hey, bunk chair! Come on! Hey, Bartlett! I don't know what you're waiting 
Get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake sucking mummy filled sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't. See what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Well, it sure is exciting to watch, but you know that's out of range. Right? That ain't coming back down till we deal with that nest up there. You're gonna look dandy as a red clock down at your hands. Over there! Okay, looks like that wheel up there over there. Hmm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you. They didn't seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn that plane and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! He is dead. We gotta have a full shot. Cover. You do the other stuff. Look around. Find an angle. Ain't this what you do? Turn it. Copy that. What? If the angle you needed to find down there. You'd have found it already. We need a new vantage point, brother. Turn it again. Aye, aye. There you go, right on the money.
I think they seen us. Clever. Bam, pot. 